Hello! Welcome to update 3B of this Let's Play of Mole Mania. Last episode we got introduced to weights that I kept calling scales for some ridiculous reason. Alright, now it's a different shade of forest. And it seems these Semi Brothers haven't got anything to actually walk against. So they're just doing loops in the middle. That's alright, it's a predictable pattern. Somewhat. Until I destroy it all. Ah! What have I done? Oh no! That's why these guys were always the most troublesome for kids, I reckon, because of just how unpredictable their movements could be, I guess? At least for me. I like things being predictable. Okay. So I predict that that will cause me some trouble. Smack him in the face. Okay. And we're good. And I just realised I could have just kicked the whole thing up over the spikes. And then had to run my way through that way. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what I have to do. How else am I going to get over there? Yeah, that's entirely blocked off underground. After all that... Good grief. Alright, let's actually get on form. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the map to see how well we're going. Okay, we're about halfway. Hang on, are we? Yeah, but it's probably going to be a three for. I suppose we've got the two heart stands. It's probably the nice episode breaks. I mean, yes, I am limited to the 15 minutes because I really don't feel like verifying my YouTube account that much. Because I mean, look, honestly, more than 15 minutes at a time would get a bit much, I guess. All right, so I've got to make a hole here that's safe. I'm going to guess here. So now it's starting to matter where you actually dig your holes, because you could actually, you know, well, dig yourself into a corner later on. But a large portion of this game is like, alright, hole to go in front of the ball, throw the ball in front of you, and then backtrack again. Like, it's done differently enough, but, yeah. Alright, let's try and time this a bit better than that. And do this. What now? Uh, here. Because then, I can pop up, say, here. Run back around. Fling it over, and we're good. Did I miss anything underground? Nope. Sammy Brothers. Okay, so they're both. One's on the inside, one's on the outside. Hoi, okay, um... Let's pop up this island in the middle of the water to see. Oof, okay. I just want to take one of them out, at least. Just so I've got one less thing to worry about. Oop, <laughs> and I've reversed his direction. No, I don't know what's going on. Alright, so that weight on the right... No, 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 no! So that weight on the right needs to be... pushed here. Come on, ugh. Wait for him to go past. Well, I better hope that this works then. It will. It's pretty obvious that it will. Right! Cabbage! Charles Cabbage. Right. Wait, that's not going to help, is it? Oh, it's a hard cabbage. It's also a halfway cabbage. 
Oh god, okay. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. What's under here? Right, firstly, let's get rid of these guys. Okay, well, I can't really throw it out that way, nor would drag it, so I'm gonna have to build a hole here just to do it this way. Alright. One thing that I haven't actually tried to do yet is try and knock out one of those spikes with a ball. You know why? Okay, so that wasn't timed very well. Let's try that again. There we go. Alrighty. This is a case of throwing it over single holes. Once I move the weight, the scales, the weight. Oh, now I'm just getting confused between weights and scales, and I'm not sure why or how I've done it. But there it is. It's in my brain. That semi brother's going to take forever to do anything. Hmm, interesting. Plonk. Okay, now. This is one of those ones where if you fail, you do have to start the whole thing again. Okay, so. Fling the cabbage. Why did I go all the way that way? I'm not sure. And I sense the bonus stage through here. No? Yes. Also, three Sammy Brothers. Make that none. Chase the ball. Okay. Alrighty then. Why? I don't know. Stop that. Bonus stage time. Actually, I didn't go underground at all last there. There's got to be something here. Ah. Fun times the boss here to damage him, trap him in the hole, then attack him. Yep, this is where they give you the hints. Okay. Fifteen. Sixteen. That for now. Bonus stage. Alright. No holes to begin with. Good start. Oh, there's a cabbage right there. Thanks. I needed that. It's just digging a hole takes so much time. It's like, ah, uh, it's almost safer. Ho ho! Ow! All right, I seem to be pretty safe. There we go. 
Now that I'm being filmed, I do these without any trouble at all. Alright. Anyway, sorry, don't mind me. Right, so yes, back to the stage proper. I'll just charge right in without looking at where I'm going. Let's see if I can just take out that thing. Alright, so, go push the way across there, because the only way we can actually get out is oh, with the ball is obviously by flinging it over that hole. Which means I need to fling it over that way, and I obviously had to block that hole. So, and now we get to play Leapfrog with a ball and holes. Don't say anything at all. going to try and fling the ball into the rabbit to knock it out, but that would waste so much time. Alrighty. Missed. It's a hit! Alright. So excitable. Nope. It's really easy once you actually got the right timing for the for the um, cannonball to hit the spike ball. What else? You like eighty? Oh, and it's a heart stand with no heart barriers. Oh well. Yes, yes, we did it already. Oops. Anyway. I think I'll chop it off there and the next episode take on the boss battle. So, we're coming for you, Funtun, but until then, tally ho.